Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my stall. Going through my leg pads, skates, everything up to my helmet. Also any other accessories that may be in my stall for other purposes. Kind of like a what's in the bag video, but more just what's in my stall. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is my skates. I have the Bauer Vapor, I believe they're 2.9s, yes. 2.9 skate. I ended up getting these just earlier this year because I had a malfunction with my other skate. During training camp, this happened. Just taking on my skate, not sure really how it happened, but it happened, you gotta deal with it. These were the 2S Pros. I really like these skates. I also still have the steel from those, so if I ever have a dull blade on this, I can just switch them out with a nice, easy bower click in click out system they got here also something i have in the uh, stall is my gym shoes i got these adidas gym shoes size i think 11 and a half off of pro stock hockey sponsor me please maybe i don't know off of pro stock hockey and it's i believe columbus blue jacket returned shoes I'm not sure whose they were supposed to be but they're mine now moving up to a big piece of equipment i got in my pads i got the brian's genetic four Pro model pads. Really love these things. They've been doing great things with me the past three years now. This is the third year with them. I'm having some problems with the knee blocks, but I've actually had to sew this one a few times. And then on this one, some duct tape has done the trip, but still making them work and they do a great job. I love how comfortable they are. I'm not sure why, but I went from the Sub Zero 3s to this single brake Genetic 4s. I really like them, they're really comfortable, and you gotta like the all white look. The next part of my equipment is my knee guards. So, I mean, not too crazy thing for knee guards, but CCM KP Pro knee guards. Just very comfortable, very protective. Haven't really taken any stingers off the knees in the past years. Haven't had a problem with them. I usually put nylon socks over them to keep them in place and tape the socks up, but they've done a great job so far. Moving up the body to the next piece of equipment, I have my pants. So I actually just got these pants. These are the Axis 1.9 issue pants, extra large senior. I'm liking them so far, but it's gonna take a while to get used to. Love the inner belt on the CCM pads. Also love having suspenders on my pads. Just a nice way to tuck your chest protector. Also use these to tuck my chest protector. Very comfortable, very protective. That's what you need to pant. I'm coming from these old CCM Premier pants. Obviously they've been pretty beat inside and out. Still a great pant, just didn't work for me anymore, sadly. Next thing in my stall we have is my Hitmen game shell. Nice way to make the team all look uniform and works really well with our jerseys. I love our jerseys too, probably the best in the league. Only wear these on game days though. Don't want to be ruining them for practice. This is my cup. This is my cup. Next piece of equipment I got here is my chest protector. It's a V9, nice Vaughn, I believe. It's the V9 XFP chest protector. Senior, I believe, large. But it took a while to get used to it. I had the same Brian Sub Zero One chest protector for, I believe, seven years before this. But yeah, so far, loving it. Comfortable, warm, what more can you want? Also does a good job of not making me feel pucks and I don't like to feel pucks, so that's good. Next we got my neck guard. I don't remember the last time I bought one of these, but it's the Bauer Supreme neck guard with Thermal Max and also a bobby pin holding the Velcro from one of my brother's old shin guards. Hopefully he doesn't see this video and care. But yeah, I cut it off as his shin guard and put it on my neck guard. Sorry, Baron. Next pieces of gear I want to take a look at is my glove and blocker. Just like my leg pads, genetic fours. Love them. Don't have a problem with them. One main problem I had with the blocker is the palm was kind of messed up, so I had a seamstress fix it. Thank you, Joy Cleaners. I know it was a long process, and I'm sure you hate me now, but I appreciate you taking care of that. But blocker's a blocker, it's nice and light, comfortable. And then my glove. I love my glove. This is a nice glove. It came broken in just like this. 
Great video. Love seeing that out of the box, but same closure, double T, skate lace pocket. I think it's a great look. Very comfortable for my hand. I believe it's a closure where it's fingers to your thumb. Haven't taken any stingers off of this lately. It's easy to use after it's been sitting for a bit, but so far I love it. And then the final piece of protective equipment I have is my helmet. My helmet's been with me for a few years now. I believe this is the Bauer Profile 950. Not 100% sure, but got a nice white cat eye on there. It's seen some better days, definitely, with this chipping on the chin. Also, I don't use a chin cup. I just use the chin sling. Find it more comfortable. I use a Cool by Monster Hockey headband. Sweatband, whatever you want to call it, but it just keeps my sweat out of my eyes. Sometimes I have to wring it out. It's a little gross, but it happens. Also in my stall, I have two water bottles. I have a Warrior Pro Return V1 Pro Plus. This is a Cam Talbot stick from when he was on the Flames, I believe. Now he's lighting up in Minnesota. But yeah, great stick. I got them off Sideline Swap. Great deal. I think it was two for 300 bucks, and they're usually 300 bucks sticks on their own. I've had them since, I believe, February. They're very durable, and I've been using them all summer and this far into the season. So far, no problems really with them. Another thing I keep in my stall and take home is our Hitman 212 Culture Guide and Playbook of 2021 to 22. Can't let you guys look in here. Sorry about that. Strictly Hitman eyes only. I also have skate guards. I have my Dryland clothes, which I keep nicely folded on the second shelf. I have some blue Gatorade powder that I like to toss in my water bottle in between periods and just drink. Tastes good. Blue's the best for sure. Let me know what Gatorade's your favorite in the comments below. Thank you. Finally, I have my Gitches. These are drying out to the side. They're kind of gross. Then we got my practice jersey, number 74. Great number. Thank you, Colton. Comfortable jersey. All you need. One more thing I forgot to show you guys are sweet home jerseys. And there are away jerseys. But yeah, guys, that's my stall. I appreciate you guys watching. I think we're very fortunate as a team to be able to have our own stalls and keep our stuff at the rink instead of having to lug all our gear back and forth from rink to rink and rink to home for practices. It's nice we just get to leave it here, let it air out, and then just come to do put in the work in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Also, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Just listen for a second. Love it. I have a Wario Pro. Ah. Uh,